Okay, this is a video of how to crack the uh, case on a fairly ubiquitous Motorola Advisor Flex pager. Um, usually it's because the screen's going to be broke because somebody dropped it. This particular one is just has a uh, reception problem. Um, so first thing you have to do, I'm going to replace the receiver in this one, is to take out the battery. You need a couple tools, a small screwdriver, some kind of awl. First thing to do is release this little case latch. You just kind of pry it out. It'll usually click when it's released. Then the hard part is getting this band around the outside off because it's actually what locks the two halves together. So first there's this little key here and I think I just locked the other latch. So I just have pried that loose here. This corner is key. Get that corner off first. Just gonna get it up a little bit on the edge there. And then there's a little place you can pry the band up right by the positive connector of the um, battery compartment. So I'm just going to see if I can pry that up and away from the case without breaking it. That's the key, of course. Well, not as easy as it appears. So now, starting to get it free. Okay, so I'm going to keep pulling that away from the case, starting at this corner. And the reason you have to do this is because there's this hidden latch right here on the other side of the battery that you just have to push in to release it gently or you'll break it off. There we go, clipped out. Now the two halves should separate if I hadn't pushed too hard and locked this again. There we go. So now what you got is a vibrating um, motor on this side. You've got the guts that will just pop out of the case, leaving the battery contacts in the button. And then what you got is this assembly. The top part is the receiver. It just pops off. That's all I really need on this one. I'm just going to pop this off the connectors right back here. Here we go. So that's your receiver. If you have a bad one, just make sure you use the same frequency or it won't work. Up reception if you're using parts. Now you're left with this assembly that just has the main board and the um, display in it. Since there's nothing wrong with this one, I'll show you another one and take it apart. Um, typically you're going to have this kind of a problem. Somebody's dropped it and it's cracked. The LCDs um, probably not well, it's not serviceable, but to get to it, you just pop off the receiver again, take off the little battery thing, and what you're left with now is just the main board and the display. The display has a couple of clips on the side there and one on the other side, so it just pops off. Now, you're, luck you're lucky if you have this kind of connector here because you can just pop off these little this little lock and the display will come loose and if you happen to have another pager the same kind of display with a bad main board or receiver you can just swap them so that kind of uh, connector is goodness okay um, the other possibility you're gonna find is one like this unit and you take out the receiver the page you notice it has a green plastic on the back, and that's because it uses this little incandescent uh, lamp here on the corner. These are an older style. And the reason I'm taking this apart is because if you have one of these, and the display is actually cracked, you're pretty much out of luck. And let me... why isn't this coming apart? Oh, this is an older one. It kind of gets stuck at the top here, so I'm going to just separate this little prying action. It's got some glue that kind of holds that sometimes a little bit more than it should. There we go. So, if you have this kind of connector, you're pretty much out of luck because it's just soldered. Trying to unsolder that or some other way getting it off, it's, it's impossible. It just doesn't work. So, this one's a parts donor. And you also see this one's got a little bit of damage in here, if you can see that on the display. And that's about it. If you want to 
replace the screen, you just reverse what I showed you with this one. You just get a new screen from another unit, slide it back in for assembly process, and you're done.